So, of course, going into northern Michigan this upcoming uh, weekend, last season kind of got upset by Michigan at the end of the season. So what's kind of the mentality here coming into this series uh, for you guys? I would say our mentality is we're excited about the opportunity to play. Um, we've been skating now for five weeks, and, and so it's been a long ramp up to, to our first CCHA series. And, and, you know, we're starting off with a difficult opponent right away. Uh, Northern's got a, got a very good team and, and uh, is excited about their season as well. So the mentality, I think, is we're, we're excited and we're feeling good about uh, the opportunity to play in a CCHA series right away. Uh, last season, too, you guys were, it seemed, struggling to get from the defensive end and through that neutral zone to really kind of get into that attacking third. Um, what have you guys been working on these past couple of weeks, really, to kind of make that uh, more valuable for you to push through? Yeah, you know, part of it was uh, a lot of it had to do with, you know, we had a bunch of new guys playing playing college hockey for the first time. So hopefully a year of experience has helped a bunch of them, and, and then we have some guys back for their fifth year, so their experience will certainly help us. Um, we want to play uh, with the puck as much as we can. We want to be on the offensive side of things as much as we can. So uh, trying to generate offense is, is something we focused on. And, and uh, again, spending as little time in your own zone uh, certainly helps out. And then getting through the neutral zone with possession and, and getting it in and, and being able to forecheck. So we've been working on all those kinds of things to, to make sure our guys are prepared to, once the season starts. Uh, then, of course, Northern Michigan, a very aggressive team out on the ice, especially against you. I know I was talking to Pitters earlier, and he had mentioned how, you know, you've got that kind of rivalry feeling there. How are you guys preparing for, for that aggression out on the ice that you're expecting to see? Yeah, you know, we, we, we need to be disciplined. We want our guys to play hard and be competitive and, and, and again, to, piggyback on what you said we want our guys to be aggressive you know we don't want to cross a line and we don't want to put ourselves in difficult spots where we're taking penalties and, and giving a really good team like northern michigan power play opportunities uh, but again if, if we're playing hard and we're competitive and we're in, intense that's a, that's a good thing for us and you're right the the rivalry has been a, a healthy one in the last three four years uh, they've had a very good program up there for a long time and and uh, we, we want to be a program that's a very good program so when you have programs that have the same goals and uh, same aspirations it, it tends to, to lead into a, a really healthy rivalry. Um, a lot of your defenders last season you know were very aggressive pushing up into that attacking mm -hmm. third a lot more. Uh, are we expecting to see that again or are we going to see a little bit more of kind of holding back out on that back line? Yeah we're gonna we want our, our defenseman to be a part of our offense. We want all five guys to get up the rink and, and play that way. That's the, the direction the game is going. Uh, we also have to be smart about how we do it and when we do it. Uh, we're not just going to go to go, but when we have possession uh, through the neutral zone and into the offensive zone, we want our guys to be involved. And we think we have quality people back there who can certainly help us in, in that regard. So uh, you're going to see more of the same, I would think. And I don't know if you're able to, to tell us, but do you know who we're kind of expecting to see Friday and Saturday night in uh, goal for this weekend? I can't tell you who and when, but I think you'll see Zach Rose and Christian Stover this weekend. We haven't really, in all honesty, haven't had a, a real discussion as a staff as to who plays when. But uh, as long as things continue to go the way they've gone up to this point, uh, barring any surprises, I would, I would think you'd see both of those guys this weekend. So this season is pretty unique because you have a lot of fifth years in training, but you also have people who have never played college hockey before. Um, as you guys um, practiced, how have the chemistry how's the chemistry been between the veterans and rookies? As a as a staff, we feel like the chemistry's been really good, and, and then when you you know, sit down and talk with some of the older guys, sit down and talk with the new players. Uh, you know, we have, we have older guys that have been here for a long time. We have older guys that have been about other places for a long time. And then we have some, some guys that are, you know, obviously freshmen and new to the program. So the conversations we've had with everybody is they feel really good about the group and the chemistry. So that's a credit to the older guys for not only welcoming the, the first year college hockey players into our program, but the experienced college hockey players who are coming from a different program, welcoming them in and making them all feel like they're a part of it. And that we were real uh, aware of that. We felt like in the days of, if, if we're gonna participate potentially in the transfer portal and we're gonna bring new players in, we've gotta do a really good job of integrating them into what it is to be a part of our program, both on the ice and in the weight room and in the classroom, 
all those kinds of things. And, and again, a credit to our older guys. They've done a great job of making everybody feel like they're a part of it. it it's a, you know, again, to a man, our guys are saying we have a really good group, not necessarily a good class of this or a good pocket of this, but a, but a really good group. So that's, and that'll be important because, it, you know, the 28 guys in the locker room have to be connected and have to be willing to play for each other in order for us to have a good chance to have success. And when it comes to CCHA hockey, obviously you're starting off with Northern Michigan, but then when you transition back to CCHA hockey after a little break, you go to Minnesota State, which are the defending champions. Um, what are some key elements to be successful in this series? You know, we'll get a chance real early to, to see where we're at. You know, Northern Michigan's a, a team that has, has, you know, like I mentioned earlier, has some really high aspirations and feels like they've got a team that can compete for a, a regular season league championship. And obviously Minnesota State Mankato feels the same way. Mm -hmm. they've, they've done a great job of that over the past six, seven years of, of being right there at the end of the year. So we're going to find out a lot about who we are. Um, and then we feel like for us to be successful, we've got we've to stick to our identity and play the way we feel like we've been recruited to play and we're built to play. And uh, we have to stay disciplined. Uh, if you look back at last year, and if you look at last year, first time in seven or eight years, we didn't win 20 games and that's not normal around here. And, and so we need, to, we need to defend harder. We need to, our, our goals against, we would like to see that go down. Uh, and that's a team statistic. It's not a, a goalie statistic. Uh, our penalty kill needs to improve because that's an area that we're typically, those two areas are typically areas where we've been really good. And when we've had really good teams, it's no coincidence that we, we have a great penalty kill and, and our goals against is really good. So I would say right off the bat, those are two things that we want to really work hard on to improve. Coach, you touched on this a little bit, but just how different is it just starting against a conference opponent that also has high expectations? How different is it than if you were starting against, say, a non-conference opponent or starting with an exhibition? Yeah, well, an exhibition game, there really isn't a lot of pressure there. You know, you can you can play, you know, you have unlimited opportunities to play people. You, you, you could dress 30 guys if you had them. You could play all your goalies. So, so that's unique in itself. Uh, a non-conference series, as you know, with, with the way our national tournament is decided and, and pairwise, those non-conference series typically matter um, at the end of the year. Um, but then again, this is our first opportunity to jump into a real series against a real opponent who is a very good team. So as we went through our, our preseason camp, we tried to focus on certain things that identify us and certain things we want to be good at. And then now we're starting to talk about Northern Michigan and the CCHA and, and how that all works. And so uh, it, it's, it's a challenge, but I, I think one of the things that happens when you play a meaningful series right away is that you have to be ready to go. You know, you can't ease your way into this. You can't say, okay, we're gonna do this in practice and, and work on these things. And then we're gonna play the exhibition game and see how that goes. And then next week we'll really get ready. We, we have to be ready to go right away. Anything on the Zoom? Peter, you good? Joel? Okay, I do have a question. Uh, Austin Swankler, how's he looking for his second year? Uh, Austin came back in really good shape. He's a, he's a very, very hard worker. Um, he's got himself in good shape. He had a good summer, um, feels good playing with good players, so uh, we feel like Austin's put himself in a position to, to take a step in, in his second year here. What kind of role do you expect him to play? Uh, you know, as far I, as your lines? Yeah, I think Austin's going to be in a similar role as, as he was last year. He's a guy that, that we believe has, has an opportunity to, to positively impact our offense. He's a talented kid who, who offense has always been something that he's, he's been accustomed to, to being a part of. and. And we don't see any reason why he won't be a part of that this year. Uh, we're, we're just, to be honest, Peter, we're trying to figure out who, who fits best with who because we do have a couple of new faces and some guys that we feel like can really help us in that regard. But uh, Austin's, Austin's done a really good job up to this point, and I would be surprised if, if when it's all said and done at the end of the year, he doesn't have a really, really good offensive year for our team. And one more, uh, your back end. I'm looking at the roster of it. It's, uh, it's quite a bit different than a couple of years ago, obviously, but uh, 
you know, you've added uh, Hunter Lele. You've uh, entered Malmstrom as you know now a, a junior. What do you expect out of him this year? Um, so, so first you mentioned uh, Hunter, and and we added Hunter, who's a, a fifth year defenseman, plays at the University of Minnesota Duluth. Uh, won a national championship there as a freshman. Uh, we played against Hunter in the in the national tournament when we were uh, in, in the regional there, and uh, really really happy with Hunter and, and happy to have him a part of our group. He's a he's an outstanding young man, going to get his MBA here, and and has won a bunch of hockey games at the University of Minnesota Duluth. Uh, really good leadership. Um, we feel like he'll be able to step in right away and and make us harder to play against defensively. We think he'll help our penalty kill a bunch uh, and then and then obviously his experience and leadership is going to be something that we're going to count on and then we added another uh, defenseman through the transfer portal Zach Vanell. Uh, Zach played three had three really good years at, at Merrimack in Hockey East and, and Zach's going to be a kid that we feel is going to really impact us from the offensive side he's going to he's going to kill penalties he's going to play five on five uh, but he's a he's a kid that we think that people are going to notice right away from a from an offensive standpoint, he's real comfortable with the puck on his stick and, and does some really nice things there. And then you brought up Anton. Anton had a really good sophomore year for us last year and had a good summer, went back to Sweden and trained really hard. Actually went to the, the St. Louis Blues development camp last year and uh, performed at a, at a really, really high level there, uh, so much so that uh, they actually offered him a, an NHL contract. And Anton, uh, we had sat down with Anton and and his family prior to the summer and, and Anton's goal all along was to come back and play another year here uh, at least and and so he he thankfully stuck to stuck to his word and he's back again and, and we expect Anton to take another step he's he's in great shape he's a big strong kid who as as, as you guys all know is is going to be right up there in, in shots blocked on our team and really going to help us uh, defensively and on the penalty kill and he's done some nice things offensively so we think there's room there for our for Anton offensively, so we're, we're we like our defensive core, and then you know you throw Eric Parker in as a as a sophomore, and and Ben Wozniak as a sophomore, and and Max Coyle, who's who's been around a long time, and and uh, you've got a, the makings of what what we believe is is going to be a, a really good decor, and adding you know Jack Blake full time now as a freshman, and, and Dalton Norris as freshman, uh, those eight guys are are really going to do a nice job for us. Thank you.